That, of course, was Pablo Vasquez, known to hundreds, if not dozens, of friends and family. <laughs> you are now live from Auckland. We were a minute earlier than we said we'd be, but we're hoping that you might be tuned in. We are uh, a loose-knit collection of impassioned and slightly random people sitting around on chairs tonight. Uh, we're going to play through a bunch of songs. Some of them uh, these fine singers know, and some of them they've never heard before. But I'm going to invite them to sing along to anything they feel up for. And we know some of them quite well. We know some of them medium well, and we know some of them not at all. So thank you for joining us, for wherever you're listening or watching. Um, it's going to be a hell of a good month. A feast of Fridays. Hey, take a seat, you guys. There's plenty of room. Just anywhere. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'm sorry, Tom. Go on here. Thanks. Got a pick? Yeah, I do now. All right. <laughs> and, you know, you can... Plenty of noises if you want to. It's, it's not... It doesn't have to be completely silent. There's one moment in the oh, show <laughs> where we will have to be silent, but...
Um, Elroy's the busiest man in the show so far. He's been featuring in Pablo Vasquez. Is Elroy? Hi, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I keep walking in front of the camera shots. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And we were counting on it. You've got youth on your side. It's good. I can't walk in front of the camera shots because my pants don't match my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was a conversation that I had, believe it or not, half an hour ago. So. <laughs> but, you know. It occurs. It occurred to me as I was devising songs um, to sing tonight that it would be a wasted opportunity not to do this next song, because it's a in that refers to the fact that in England it's morning, and if those of you who are in England waking up to this, whether you're at home or you're on your way to work, um, on your i i sort of what is it now? Mm. iPhones. That's right. No one has iPods <laughs> anymore, do they? Um, iPhone. If you're on the train or something, it's a really lovely thought to think that this is Friday evening for us. We're already at the end of the week. We're in celebratory mode. There's a number of glasses being filled around the room. You guys have just got one more day of work to contend with, so hopefully this, will, this little session will send you off in a good frame of mind. And if you don't get to watch it all, you can come back later and watch the rest of it. I'm going to introduce you to this wonderful company of people later on, but we'll, uh, we'll play this song now. You got oh, you're just making sure. Make sure Elroy doesn't get absolutely walloped by a camera there. All right. Um, I'll just start up. And I'll just join you. <laughs> yeah, that's the theory. Um, I've got to think of the tempo now. <laughs> Faster than light in time, you 
we go. Now, um, even though we've got reluctant, slightly reluctant singers who have never heard these songs before, you could make sure Jordan in there. Just swing around there. Just, let's just have a look at Jordan. He's mixing the sound. There's a really nice little gathering in there as well. Um, that you make sure that the singers are up nice and, yeah, when they're, in, when they're up, yeah. Cool. Hey, um, we've got a few things in mind tonight. This is an experiment, as all of these things are, and we don't really know what's going to happen, but it did occur to me it would be nice to have some people call in with Skype questions, and on Skype and ask some questions, and I think we can manage to do that. So I might give that a shot now, just to sort of establish the format. I need to put my headphones on. Okay, cool. Thanks. And... Um, I'm just going to Hi, Neil. Look at, oh, God. <laughs> there they are. Hello there. Hi there. Can you introduce yourself? Um, my name's Lisa, and this is Finn, and we're in um, London. Well, we live in London in the UK, um, but we're on a narrow boat at the moment. Oh, nice. And your son's name is Finn. It is Finn. Hello, Finn. How are you doing? Good Same name. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a good name. Is it serving you well? Uh, you yes. Having, yeah, you're having a good time called Finn? Yeah. Excellent. All right. And and uh, you're in London, so it's morning. It is morning and cold. And is it sunny, though? It looks sunny there. Um, not really, no. <laughs> did you hear the birds singing this morning? We did. Lots of coots, lots of ducks. Um, yeah, Great. but it's brilliant. Excellent. Do you, did you have a question for, for me or for anyone here? Uh, we do have a question. Finn's going to read it because um, we thought it would be good if he asked you. Yeah, good. You've often referred to your songs as children. Are there any you would like to have adopted or disowned? <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent question. Did you think of that one? Um, um, I, I think we came up with it together. <laughs> I think I would give away a few of them, yeah. Um, it's a terrible thing to say, isn't it, really? But I probably would, would give them away and I would suggest that they could sort of perform some kind of genetic um, work on them to transform them into something far better. Does that confuse your, your, your minds now, that, that answer? Yeah, because what I'm saying is that there might have been something essentially quite good about them, but they need a little bit of genetic work. No, that, that makes sense because you once accused me of having demoitis um, and your songs seem to take on a world of their own as they evolve and grow up. Ah, oh, okay. Well, if you've got demoitis, once you watch this evening, you'll be absolutely hooked on these songs and we'll never be able to better them. That's brilliant. I Thank suspect. you so much, Neil. It's, it's nice to see you too. Good on you for getting up early. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Good question. Nice one, Finn. Hey, go to school now. <laughs> it's holidays. It's holidays. Oh, shit. It's holidays. We're going to come to New Zealand. <laughs> oh, well, that's even better, isn't it? God, it's holidays there. Of course it is. Yeah. Well, it's even more impressive to get up early then. All right. Well, good on you. Yep. You're our first Skype call and that worked perfectly. Look at that. Hooray. Thank you so much. Thank you. See ya. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Oh, let's have another one of those. That was quite good. Yeah. Can we get another one? I want more. No. We'll dial somebody else up. Actually, I could whiz around the room just as we... I could whiz around the room and introduce you to everybody. If this was some kind of um, encounter group, we, everybody would have to say, Hello, I'm... Uh, I'm James. Uh, and I'm here because I love to sing. But I can introduce you. Why don't we whiz around the room while we're waiting for the next Skype caller and we'll do a quick introduction. Are you guys able to just do a quick whiz around the room? Yeah. We'll start with EJ over here. Yeah. Hugh, are you on the... Yeah, we go. That's EJ. Over here is Amelia next on the couch. And Holly. And then a really nice close-up of Sean Donnelly. Just, <laughs> just here. Not too close. Thank you very much. <laughs> very nice close-up of Sean Donnelly and Don McGlashan. Hey. Hello. James Mill, my very special cousin. I mean, cousin nephew, sorry. <laughs> uh, look, family things get quite confused in the Finn family. This is my nephew, Harper. And next to Harper is Jimmy Metherill. And Sam, Sam Scott. And Victoria. And Reb. Reb Fountain. And of course, you've met Elroy over here already, because uh, I'm actually going too fast for the camera now. Come on. Yeah, round, 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 round. There yeah. he is, there's Elroy. There he is, yeah. Hi. And who else have we forgotten? Anyone? Uh, string players. Yeah. Oh, the string. Oh, we have some string players here. They've got, they don't, they're actually not playing tonight, but we thought it'd, be look, it'd look really good to have a couple of string players in there. Yeah. 
There we go. Actually, you guys could do... Do you know any Dvorak? <laughs> as, it, as it happens. Oh, God. <laughs> That was good. Man. Are they just always in that room? <laughs> I think... <laughs> Look, don't you know anything? Any good studio has a couple of string players standing by at all times. For... String prisoners. Please. That's all right. Sam's from Wellington. They don't have that luxury down there. Yeah. Oh, you've got Peter Jackson. He knows lots of string players down there. Um, so anyway, we've got another Skype call. I think that worked quite well, so we could probably do one more. Perfect. Yeah. Any anybody else? Thank you. Oh, you've got one there. All right. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hi, Neil. Hi there. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. And where are you? Where are you yeah. um, skyping from? I'm skyping from San Francisco, California. Oh, yeah. fantastic! Wow. And uh, well, it's pretty late there, right? It is late. It's uh, just after midnight. Just after midnight. That's nothing for San Francisco, is it really? Not you'll, really. No. You'll be out clubbing after this, won't you? <laughs> Possibly. Um, what, what, did you have a question? Why is there an upside down four on, on the background there? That's quite mysterious. Um, I'm at the workplace, Neil, and that's what I. Some of my work tonight. Some of your work, an upside down yeah. four. Okay. Yeah. It's... Good. That probably doesn't need any more explaining. We can leave it at that. <laughs> sure enough. Okay, um, well, a... What was your question? My question was, uh, I was look fortunate enough to attend the last uh, webcast that you did at Roundhead with Crowded House. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to know if um, you plan to make Roundhead webcasts of a regular occurrence uh, once the album is released. Um, I would love to do this every week of my life um, for the next 30 years. So there's no, no um, lack of willingness to do it. It's a little bit of organising, but there's something about um, a weekly event that is a beautiful thing because you've got a week to sort of prepare and think about it and uh, gather together and there's a little bit of randomness. Nobody knows anything too well, but yeah, I, I want to keep doing it. Absolutely. There's no absolute plan beyond August, but um, I've got a feeling it'll happen again quite soon. That would be fantastic. I also had a request. Ah. Um, I heard you perform a song called Widow's Peak at Largo last ah. year. Yeah, yeah. Which was a very interesting one and if there's any possibility of you performing at the piano at some point, that would be fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we, could, we could probably do like a verse and a chorus or something of that, do you think? Yeah. 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 Do you guys want to stand up and do it? Or yeah. do, yeah. Okay. I can't hear. What is it? Widow, Widow's Peak. Oh, right. Yeah. How's he know about it? He, he, we did it at Largo. Largo. Yeah. It's had an outing already. But this is... Um, I doubt he was expecting this response from you, Neil. <laughs> you weren't. No, I doubt he was expecting this response. No, he, yeah, I can't act. It's brilliant. It's going to be a great day. Buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> um, we won't play the whole thing because that would be... Uh, we're not quite up to, you know, album standard yet, so it would be a shame to let the whole thing go. But, yeah. What a tease. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I went up to Widow's Peak to run my dog, to run my dog. Had to get him up to speed and break my breath, catch my breath. The sky and the earth turned red and the daylight fled. Son of ancient warlike bees Follow trails in the mud You can smell the blood buried under my feet Oh, should we just do another verse? Should we? Yes. I went up to Widow's Peak Feeling dread Feeling dread Got down my jangling nerves on an unmade bed. Well, then I got so tired and I wanted just to sleep, but I couldn't close my eyes. Lord, and I shut my eyes. 
a good request um we can't really thanks very sing. much we can't we've got to leave something in reserve so we can't sing you the whole thing gets really good after that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right well um i think uh she i did have a there's list a but it's probably slipped off it. where is it it's on that oh. stall there there's only a very approximate list and in fact i didn't supply it to the, everybody because i thought i oh, okay hi. yeah hi where were you I'm watching here. Oh, Thank you, Neil. Okay. <laughs> Much appreciate. Yeah, you're welcome. Just hey, in time. hello, San Francisco. Go out there and spread the word. Will do. Okay. Thanks, man. Thank you. Now, um, I, my dad is watching. I think I'm hoping he's watching on his new iPad. And uh, if he's not, he'll watch it tomorrow. But I wanted to sing a song for him because every every time I go down to see him, once a week we go to the. He's 95 years old, by the way, Richard George Finn. Greatest boy rider in T. Rory. Um, <laughs> actually, I've got my headphones on. I've got a huge amount of reverb. It's very strange. I'm going to take it off. Um, <laughs> and the Cambridge Club is massive. The Cosmopol It's the biggest club, and there's never anybody there except for Dad and I. Maybe a couple of people doing the pokies. And I, uh, at the end of a game of snooker, we go on and I play a couple of songs from on the piano. I think Tim does the same thing when he goes down as well. And he's always, Dad's happy with the same two songs every time I go down. And um, one of them is Marie, which is my mum's, was a song which reminds him of mum and I used to dance to and is a great song. But the other one, one of mine that resonates for him and I sing every time I go down is uh, Better Be Home Soon. So I'm going to do that for, for Richard George uh, down there in Cambridge. And uh, you're welcome to join in. Yeah. Something's got a hold on you And coming up after this, a very special Skype guest And it's pushing me aside See it stretch on forever I know I'm bright For the first time in my life And that's why I tell you Lies and deception Back to nothingness Like a week in the desert And I know I'm right For the first time in my life And that's why I tell you Don't say no, don't say nothing's wrong When you get back home, baby, I'll be gone oh. Oh, 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 oh. No, I miss out the instrumental bit here Dad would be really bored with it if I did it, so. <laughs> it would cause me pain if we were to end it. But I could start again. You can depend on it. And I know I'm right. Better be 
be home soon Oh, and that's why I tell you You'd better be Ricardo. Nice one. Okay. Um, I probably didn't give you a lot of cue. Is, are we, how are we looking for the um, surprise mystery guest? Is it, yeah? Is there a thumbs up from Jordan? How about our... Uh, I've got a monitor right in front of me. I realise there's a little bit of hair just sticking up there and I promised to do it. For the, oh, there it is. Hang on. Ah, oh, look at that. That's way better, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like having a mirror. Except it's in reverse again or something. There's some weird shit about that. Um, um, all right, well, well I'm going to move positions. Move positions. Hey. And Hello. Oh, there he is. Hey. Oh. Hey. Nicky boy. Nice setup. All right. Hello. Hi. I need an acoustic, yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, in normal tune. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Um, it's a lovely morning in, in <laughs> Ireland, and uh, I'm still in my oh, dressing good. gown, but that's all right. <laughs> Well, Nick, you've always been a sartorial genius, so the fact well, that you wear a plaid shirt to bed doesn't surprise me. Because you never know if you're going to get surprised by one of Ireland's intelligentsia suddenly turning up at the door, and you need a plaid shirt to greet them, don't you? Have you got yeah. your dressing gown on? No, um, it is. It's my plaid shirt. It's plaid shirt, yeah. I've got trousers on. I was hoping you'd be you put your cleric's outfit on. <coughs> cleric? Yeah. No, this is a, this is a God-free house, Neil. This one. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> good. Doesn't mean to say you can't wear a cleric's outfit every now and again. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. As the. Um, now you, you can hear me, okay? Can't you? Can, can you hear my bass? Oh, I can hear you spectacularly well. Listen to that, people. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what a guy. Now I've just thing... tuned up. I've just tuned up, Neil. Using. A... Yeah. You know, you've got a. Nice. We're, we're good. Yeah, Jimmy's got that app as well. I'm ready to go. That's the um, good tuner, that one. Now, the good thing is that uh, we tried this in the middle of the week, and I thought it was going to be really easy to set this up, and it took about an hour and a half. I got really shitted off with the whole thing, really. Oh, and no, did you? No, no, I'm not you... really. I was disappointed for you because you had turned up in good form, and we were letting you down by being... We're a professional studio at the bottom end of the world. You're in, a, you're in bumfuck nowhere up in, in Ireland there. <laughs> And you managed you managed to turn it on, and we were we were kind of left a bit wanting. Oh uh, no! I know, but anyway, we got there. I don't have to in involve anybody in the dilemma of the preparation. The art is in making it look effortless, isn't it? Oh, I know exactly. That's it. That's true. Just That's make it look like just you yeah. just fallen out of bed, and yeah. you're in your studio at eight o'clock in the morning, and <laughs> all is grand. Yeah. Now, or, I, I just all night. I just want to preface this next song by saying that the only other time I performed this live. <laughs> in, in front of any other audience was on Triple R in Melbourne and we just recorded the album and I hadn't played it before and I actually stumbled halfway through the song and I couldn't complete it and it's the only oh, wow. time that's ever happened to me oh, and when I said to Nick is there a particular song you'd like to play today he oh, mentioned this song and I, I think he did it in order to see me fail again but <laughs> I, I don't think I will no, I had no idea that that had ever happened to you, where oh, you actually no, had a right, yeah. Of, uh, no, no idea. That, no, that, that's right. That happened to me the other day. I was in a sing song in a pub, and somebody asked me to sing, and I sang a, a song, and then I got, I finished the first verse and said, I've, I've got a mental block. I can't remember anymore. And then turned and looked at everyone and said, somebody, 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 and they all looked at me like they kind of looked at their shoes. Yeah. Oh, that's all right, man. They love you though. The Irish would forgive you for that. Um, anyway, I hope I can do justice to this next song. And um, okay. we kind of worked out a way to do it because we are on Skype and there's some weird, weird stuff happens on Skype. But there is a slight delay of one beat, so I'll play on beat two, and you, you, you carry on as if it's beat one. It's, it's. This is just a normal thing for Nick. <laughs> yeah, normal always. Nick always played on beat two. That's why we well, sounded like we sounded. <laughs> that's my secret. Yeah, that's your secret. Um, so how we how does this start? I think you've got a countdown, haven't you, over there? I, we, I gave you a countdown, so. Okay, so. Okay, let's just give this a shot. Okay. This could be historical. I'm not sure if this has happened before, but. We'll, we'll, Ready? Let's see if it works before I big note it. Yep. One, two, three. 
You know, they're did good. You get- I just did what I do on stage. I waited for you to finish, and then I then I then I joined in again. You know, I think I might have, I think I might have screwed you up a little bit. I think we got to the end, and that was the main thing, and it worked out all right. <laughs> You're only as good as your dismount, Neil. You That's know that. Right. You know, and the thing was that was really nice about that is when we started to get into trouble, all the people here who didn't really know the chorus lent in and sang like the clappers. It was really nice. Yeah, so I think we got everybody going. Hey, that was wonderful. Right. Thanks, Nick. I cool. think we, sh- we could do this again now that we've kind of formulated the approach. Um, uh, an approach. Yeah. An approach, and it's, yeah, it was pretty good. It was quite successful, so. All right, great. Yeah, how's, fam- oh, how's the oh, family? Everyone's good. They're still tucked up in bed because it's school holidays oh, at the God's moment. Oh, for God's sake, can you get Frankie in? Can you just get Frankie in here, please? I, I, wouldn't it be great to see? But I haven't seen any movement. I can, I can see out of my studio into the, into the yeah. family room out the back there. And I've seen no movement, so no one's up yet. Oh, we'll just go and, jump, go and bounce on their bed. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'll, I'll Skype you back if that's actually a, 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 a goer. All that's, right, if, you uh, get, if the kids get up and they want to they get involved, I, come back, yeah. Okay. I'll keep you on air. How All long right. are you on for more? Is oh, it another hour? I don't know. I don't know. What time is it? Yonkers. Well, it's 8.30 here in the morning. 30. Uh, that was about what we said, wasn't it? So that's pretty good. We're so yeah. far on schedule. Um, well, yeah. You know, we're going to be on for another hour, I reckon. There's some serious okay, business cool. ahead of us, but we're at the moment we're just kind of building up to that. So, yeah. Great. And, well, uh, fantastic. See you all. Hi, Don. I see you there. How are you? Hi, Elroy. See you there. Good man yourself. <laughs> EJ. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you all soon. All right. Bye. See you, man. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Nick. What a gem. What a lovely man. Um, I'll take this off now. God, it sounds strange in my headphones, though, I've got to say. Oh, 
I went and turned the reverb down. Do you want me to turn down. the reverb down? On your yeah, thing? thanks. Oh, wait, but it wasn't still... No, no, it sounds strange in a different way now. It's like it's got a, a digital... It's like a digital bathroom. <laughs> That's all right. Um, what did I have vaguely planned for next? Uh, in, in the indie day. Oh, yeah. I think. That's digital right. bathroom and swing it around. Oh, this is good. This is fun. Yeah. Wouldn't be dead for quids, as they say. Nico? Thank you, Hugh. This is Hugh, everybody. Um, uh, I need a bit of, probably need a bit of reverb or something. I might actually put the headphones on for this because it'll probably sound pretty cool in the headphones. Yeah. Things are going to start to drift off now. I'm not going to be addressing everybody directly so much. So. We're going to throw in a few of the new songs that we're going to play in their entirety and in a really good, nice way later in the month. Can you stand up? Oh, if, if you want to stand up, I think you could. Isn't it? You know you're in New Zealand and at a party when people say, should we, should we stand up? Is it all right? <laughs> yeah. Um, is it okay if we dance uh, now? That's after Thriller's already been on for half an hour. Uh, is it okay if I dance? All right. Now, um, this one we're going to do uh, just like we well, just go for a certain amount, and it's good practice for us. This is the thing we're sort of about three rehearsals into our um, process here, so it's good pr good for us to practice. Um, play acoustic for a sec. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay. And choir can just a little bit of a ha ha ha. Thank you. It was no kind. That was no kind of sound check. Did you bring your bicycle shorts? You got a change? I'm wearing them on the outside of my clothes. <laughs> Did you bring a change? You might need it after this. Yeah. I think. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four. As it was in the beginning It will still be in the end You have to keep on guessing The world will never change to thinking our plans are set in stone you're giving me an update you think everyone has to know
that's nice. Very nice. Um, what a tease. Sorry. Oh, okay. Done that one, done that one, done that one, done that one. It's going to be quite a tantric night. It's a tantric night, yeah. No, that's right. Nothing finishes a tantric night. Elroy's just, just made the comment. It's, it's a... Yeah. We, uh, we, have a, we do have a horny couch tonight. We have also... We also I really feel part of this horny couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we man. all know the truth. Eh? He, me thinks you protesteth too much. You put the H O in horny. <laughs> <laughs> we actually. Put the H R in horny because I thought this is deeply inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually. The, the there is a theory that too much licorice actually makes people horny. I just wanted to throw that out there as a. It's an you aphrodisiac. Know. It's an aphrodisiac. Oh, I think it's an aphrodisiac, yeah. And look, here we've got six bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a stomach unsettler and an aphrodisiac. Yeah, <laughs> aphrodisiac. You won't be having much sex with a sore belly, though, eh? <laughs> it's a laxadisiac. <laughs> Takes all sorts. Oh! oh Damn, oh, 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 jokes from the corner. Here's a dad joke couch. I like it. <laughs> um, I think we should take another Skype. Skype call. Has it been for long since the last one? Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, Too late. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hello. Hi, What's your Neil, name? How are you? Oh, I got to put my headphones on. Hang on, sorry. One sec. Okay. There's a protocol to follow. Sorry. Hello. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I feel like I have to trans. Oh, you. Everyone can put headphones on so we can all hear Sarah. Where are you? Ring Where are you, Hi, darling? Sarah. Hi, Brisbane, Australia. Oh, good. Excellent. What's going on in Brisbane this uh, this evening on Friday night? Well, I think everyone's tuning in to you, aren't they? Well, that's a good answer, but <laughs> not entirely truthful. <laughs> not Trust everybody, me. anyway. Just you, and maybe a few others. So, uh, anyway, welcome from Brisbane. What's Thanks. going? What's uh, What's your question tonight? Well, I was working at World Vision when you went into Africa to visit your sponsored children, and I remember seeing the footage of you singing "Ging Gang Gula Gula." Ah, yes. Yeah, you still like, know all the words, Neil? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, who doesn't know all the words to Ging Gang Gully Gully Wash Wash? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was quite, it was one of those moments that was fantastic when it was happening. And then when I saw it back on, on video, I thought, what an idiot I am. But that's no, all right. No, it was fantastic. Oh, well, that's good. Thank you. You're very forgiving. Yeah. That's all right. No, they're, they're amazing. The kids that I met in Africa were incredible mimics and they didn't know... You know, they could they could sing things back to me in whatever language I was singing to instantly. Yeah, um, and you it, had boxes of balloons that you left behind for them, and and they loved it. I don't. Yeah, I probably did. I remember I took a Polaroid camera to Africa and gave and, and lots and lots of film and gave lots of Polaroid. Uh, and um, the great thing about that was that when you hand it to them, it didn't have anything on it, and so they think that was a bit of a dud bash. And all yeah, of they a sudden, said you were a. All of a sudden, yeah, they call me a magician, yeah. And all of a sudden, yeah. this, this image appears, and it was, you know, it was a pretty good moment, actually. Yeah, well, that was a good little bit of memory. I'm quite feeling quite nostalgic now for that trip. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're going to go out after this and do something good at, in Brisbane on a Friday night, eh? Oh, yeah, go raging. You're going to go raging? <laughs> yeah, good on you. Well, just have one for us. Okay. All right? Nice Thanks, one. Neil. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 We'll take another call, shall we? It's working out pretty well. Um, the interactive side of things, it's really nice. Can I go sing Ding Ding? Really, I don't even know what this song is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I thought about throwing it in there and I just thought, no. I don't know, it's a, it's a scout song. Do you guys know that one? No. Yeah. Is that, didn't make it across the Tasman? Oh, no. oh shit, that maybe is a, re a reason to do it, I suppose. <laughs> Did you know what else? Didn't you just say that you regretted the last time you did it? <laughs> I did say that. I did. Only go, a, go for it. Only a, <laughs> only a son can throw out a warning like that, eh? No, 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 no. no. Yeah. I'm going to do it in the style of a, um, uh, like a Tom Waits ballad or something. King and gooly, 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 wash, wash, king and goo. Ging gang goo, ging gang gooly 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 wash wash, ging gang goo, ging gang goo. Hey la, 
Oh Hela Shela Oh Hela Shela Shela King Gang Gooly 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 Wash Wash King Gang Goo King Gang Goo King Gang Gooly 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 Wash Wash King Gang Goo King Gang Goo Hela Oh Hela Shela Oh Hela Shela Shela Everybody now Hela Oh Hela Shela Oh Hela Shela Shela I just remember the, the last part <laughs> Shallow alley, shallow alley, shallow alley, shallow alley, um pa, um pa, um pa, ding gang, gooly, 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 wash, wash, ding gang, goo, ding gang, goo, ding gang, gooly, 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 wash, wash, ding gang, goo, ding gang, goo. Well, hopefully that song's crossed the Tasman now and we've got our own melancholy version of it in New Zealand. And uh, it'll be sung now at, at parties, at, at quite lame parties for the next 30 years. <laughs> no regrets. Yeah, if anybody wants to stand up, it's a good time now if you want to. So, yeah. Um, all right, so I think that's a pretty good little thing. I think we might get on to the business end of the evening, do you think? Oh, no, actually, maybe... No, we've got another one. We've got another one here. Oh, somebody's on Skype. Okay. Um, hi on Skype. What's your name? Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can. What's your name? Hi, my name is Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Where are you calling from? Uh, Mexico. Ah, fantastic. Hey. Yeah. In, in what uh, particular city or town? Uh, well, it's close to Mexico City, but it's not right there. Uh, it's a place called Texcoco that is close to the famous pyramids ah, called awesome. Teotihuacan. Great. That's fantastic. What, yeah. do you, what do you do when you're not Skyping New Zealand? <laughs> well, I actually, I, I, I should be sleeping right now, actually. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really I, late there, I'd right? I'd rather yeah. be calling you, yeah. Uh, great. But, I mean, yeah, during the day, are you a, are you, what, what's your job? Are you a student or are you a... Uh, yeah, I work as an accountant. In, oh. uh, in, uh, it's an international organization uh, dedicated to... to uh, uh, well, research about maize and wheat, so it's kind oh, of fantastic. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Well, I, I I have a, a a question for you about my taxes in in Mexico. Um, <laughs> okay. No, I don't actually. I don't have a question. That's right. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure if I've ever paid taxes in Mexico. But um, uh, look, what's your, do you have a question for us? Yeah. Well, actually, it's a it's a weird one. Uh, I would like to to read it because uh, I don't sure. want to screw it up. But, <laughs> okay, good. Uh, well, it goes like this: If you were to be the chosen one to represent planet Earth in our first ever formal meeting with aliens, what message would you give to them, and what song would you choose to play if they ask you to sing something to them? Wow, wow man, that's a that's a really big question, isn't it? I said, don't assume. <laughs> What'd you say? I wish I had headphones on. I, I don't... Put your headphones on. Who, mine? Where are they? Do you want to share them with me? You can come in here. Tuck in. Come on, tuck in. Come on. Come on. Let's see if we can make them. Can you ask that one more time? Yeah. Um, can you repeat that question so my son Alroy can. <laughs> and here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just repeat. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 If you were to be the chosen one to represent planet Earth in our first ever formal meeting with aliens, 
What message would you give to them and what song would you would you choose to play if they ask you to sing something to them? Okay, good. Well, message would be don't assume that all that all humans are as stupid as Donald Trump. That would be my message to them um, because that might freak them out. Something, Elroy, can you translate that into Spanish? The whole question? No, just my answer. My answer, don't think that everyone's as stupid as Donald Trump. Can you say that in uh, Spanish? Can I give you a moment or? No debes. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No debes pensar que todas las humanos um, son como estúpido a uh, Donald Trump. Okay. Is that pretty good. wrong? Pretty good. Did, yeah. that, did that read? Did, yeah. That worked. Okay, great. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, otherwise, I'd probably say to them, please don't hurt me. <laughs> um, because there's no guarantee they'll be nice. But um, a song a song for the aliens, well, I, I guess it'd have to be a Bowie song, wouldn't it, really? Starman would probably be my obvious choice, so. There's a Starman. That's oh, so high. <laughs> there, <laughs> there's a Starman waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. There's a starman waiting in the sky He told us not to blow it Cause he knows it's all worthwhile It's only let the children lose it Let the children lose it Be all the children who gain Thank you. That was a good question. Yeah, thank you. I, I hope we answered it in some yeah, fashion. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, good. I'm sorry to spring that on you, Elroy, but... <laughs> yeah, I feel a little stupid. Yeah, that's good. Uh, how, how wrong was it? Can you tell me? Was it really wrong, my uh, translation there? Maybe... Yeah. Can we... Maybe... It's it, bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Actually, are you still there? Yeah. You can hear us. I, Elroy was just yeah. asking, he might, you might not have heard him. He was asking whether his translation, his Spanish was Terrible. made sense. Did it make sense? Uh, yeah, let's say uh, <laughs> 70%. Well, how would, how, 70%. Yeah. How would you say, if you had to say, don't assume all humans are as stupid as Donald Trump, what would you say? No, que no asuman que todos los humanos son tan estúpidos como Trump. Okay. Okay, I had like three of the ten words right. <laughs> <laughs> Elroy had three of the ten Trump words right, he said, yes. So that was yeah. good. Trump and Trump. <laughs> what was the other one? Stupid a stupider. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, thank you. It was very nice to hear from you. And I hope you, you know, you can stay up all night if you want, but I hope you don't have to yeah. go to work tomorrow. You probably do. No, no. <laughs> oh, good. Just don't go to work. I'll write you a note. In fact, Elroy will okay, write you a note please. in Spanish that's really going to work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, take care. Thank you so much for, for calling Thank in. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Muchas gracias. Okay, well, I think we should get down to... Um, oh, yeah, we can get down to the business end. What, how, what time is it now? Anybody? Five to eight. Oh, I think it's time. Watching the clock. Let's, um, <laughs> I'm going to move to the piano. We're going to actually now... This is a, a serious recording session. We're going to record a song now that will be mixed tonight and ready for mastering by five in the morning and uh, it'll be out available for <coughs> download on iTunes and all the usual um, places by next Friday. So it's kind of like a little um, opening gambit, much the same as what on the 25th we'll be recording a whole album and that'll be available a week later. Um, this is, yeah, this is our attempt to make a serious uh, record right in front of you and not to put any pressure on, but yeah, let's go and do it. <laughs> all right. Thank you. 
Would you like one? You're all good, Ash? I think there was one on here before, but somebody will get it together. I'm moving to piano. So we can't have any more out of the room now, guys. Yeah, no, we can't have doors opening and no popping. Like you guys got your, the strings up in your headphones? Oh, yeah. Strings? Oh. There's cello and... Yeah. 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 This is what happens at recording sessions, everybody. There's a lot of farting around. Um, I can't hear myself uh, currently. One, two, one, two. Neil's, Neil's mic? I, my microphone's not on there. Ah, oh, there we go. I can hear myself. One, two, one, two. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Everyone adjust as they need their. Hang on. Make it level. everybody we, we might we, we can just um we'll, we'll give it a shot and then we can play it we, we can play it more than once so all right let's run it everyone in everyone in their spots great um, we're gonna. Are oh, you gonna run a? Yeah, gonna give us a count in there so we can get this. Okay. How do you look in Jordan? Should we give this a first run? One second. Okay, that's good. I can just have another little sip of my fortifier. <laughs> Do you wanted to sing the chorus once so we can kind of? Yeah. Um, so two, uh, we're in threes now, aren't we? Yeah. One, two, three. There is more than one of you, but only one of them is true. There is more than one of you, but only one of them is true. Feeling all right. How's it looking in the control room? Have we got, we got, you can run us the, run us the count in there. Just make sure I can hear it. Make it level. Understand, make it level. On the other hand, every age is a different color, deeper far than memory of the sun. If you want to. Change 
take your place Find a present every day If you want to answer yes We won't have to double guess Well, there is more than one of you But only one of them is true Level when you take a breath, make it level. There is enough time left if you want to take your place, find the present every day. To answer yes, she'll follow you right into bed. Well, there is more than one of you, but only one of them is true. Running around, knowing that there is more than but only one of them is true Only one of them is true Only one of them is Now you can tell that there's a lot of experienced singers and recording artists in the room because no one spoke at the end of the, the song. Because <laughs> that's the thing, when you do a really good take and you're the first person to speak up and say something like, well that was quite good, <laughs> then you have to hear that then for the next month <laughs> <laughs> while you replay the song and it's, yeah. And even what I've just said here now is going to become really tedious. <laughs> In the, in the mix session. But I think that was pretty nice, pretty nice opening. I think we might do it two or three times just to um, give ourselves the best possible chance of a, of a great recording. Beautiful strings, Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I didn't have them up. No, I can't tell. God, I, that's a, such a... That string line was written by... So remiss. was written by Neil. And then I added the cello to it. So you can take so partial credit. Effort, Neil? What's that? The strings was a team effort. There was a team effort, yeah. as as they are. But I would, I should, I point out, and I should have, as we were going around the room, that Victoria has been already very um, deep in, in work about all the arrangements that are coming up on the twenty fifth um, for a rather more fulsome, um, if if no more talented, group of string players. In fact, including these two back here, that know Dvorak, and I'm eternally grateful for that. <laughs> But there's going to be a full compliment turning up. Um, actually, next week, I should say, uh, maybe we're up in the middle of recording. I'll, I'll talk about this later. <laughs> Let's, um, that was pretty nice, though. I enjoyed that. We could try it again, I think. Mm, yeah. yeah. Neil, shall I do the uh, busier cello line? Yeah, sure. Yeah? <coughs> actually, we could throw it open to Facebook. Um, <laughs> If uh, Ash has got two alternative lines, one was a really simple austere uh, one, and which he just played, and one that's a little more, oh, a little more colourful. Not the busy one. And uh, we could throw it open as a, you know, Colmar Brunton poll <laughs> onto which which is preferred. We might take it into account when we do the mix, but the chances are we won't take any notice whatsoever. <laughs> but send in your opinions anyway. Okay, let's just do that again. Make it level Don't misunderstand 
make it level on the other hand every age is a different color deeper for the memory of the sun if you want to take your place find the present every day if you want to answer yes you won't have to double guess well there is more than one of you but only one of them is true level when you take a breath make it level there is enough time left if you want to take your place find the present every day to answer yes Should follow you right into bed Well there is more than one of you But only one of them is true Running around us Knowing that there is more than <laughs> oh man, I made a real stupid. Oh, no. um, yeah. 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 oh, you guys have got the clicking. We had a little oh. bit. It's not as much fun, but. Are you finding the piano volume? Is it? You could be louder. You could be louder. More cello? Yeah, yeah mate, make adjustments loud, if you think you can improve your chances of a good take. I could, I could, I'm going to think about that. Sounds like I shouldn't have seen it. Sorry. Okay, let's leave, leave well enough alone then. Yeah. You, we're doing, yeah. yes. we do the, we're doing the high run boost. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. <laughs> and you girls. We go low on that one? Yeah. Why is that not leaving us out? Yeah. yeah. I was, I was counting. Well, I mean, it's, isn't it funny that that is a, it's a loose collective term, which is not appropriate at all, is it, really? We're women. I know, you're women. I love you women. But it would sound weird if I said, I love you women. That would be kind of, <laughs> might sound slightly creepy. That's what I'm doing. You should do it. I love you. You should do it. It is a good time to talk about gender inequality. Um, yeah, no, I think we're well represented. We're well represented here tonight. And I, for one, I for one, am waiting for the day that um, that the women women get a um, you know a good chunk of the power out there. So, yeah, bring it on. A big chunk. A big chunk. I want you girls to have a big chunk <laughs> of the power. <laughs> Look, I know that sounded terrible in in hindsight. I didn't really. I really, honestly, meant it quite innocently. Big chunk of chocolate. Big chunk of chocolate. Does anybody need some sugar? Yeah, we can have a beer. We can now we can open the door and grab beers if okay. anybody wants a refill. I think we should do one more. We should maybe just have a little, have a little, have a beer. No, no, I think we should get a beer and we should just then have another take after that, because that's what happens in real life. There is anybody else? Anybody else while we're at it? One of them is you. I'm gonna just have a little bit.
<laughs> with or without you. <laughs> Oh, the cello parts. Oh, the cello parts. Is there any? Has anybody at all ventured into the two cello parts? Oh, Ash is. Ash is actually. He's, what's, Somebody let him out of his cage. what's wrong, Al Ash? What's happened? There's some red wine here. Oh, go for your life, mate. Go for your life. Can we run through the running around her? No, oh, do you want to just try that? I just want to try that separate. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll separate just rehearse the running around thing, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all good. Man, yeah. the, the, the cellist is bolted. He's pouring himself a glass of wine. It's a thermos flask of wine. Yeah. Right. Do you want to do the um the do the little rehearsal on that then? Running around, knowing that there is more than one of you, but. Do you like that note? <laughs> just to reinforce it. Is it too late to work that into the cello part, Ash? No problem. That note? Okay. Just a nice D flat on the penultimate note. I'm joking. Just in case you're writing that into the score right now. It's in there now. Oh, okay, good. That's right. Well, we have the ability to mute you. I'd like to sing that line one more time. I don't want to like you with the log of the horse. Oh, Jesus. Such a beautiful bit, such a beautiful Come bit. Come on, all right. Like okay. Okay, yep, yep, yep. yep. It. Let's not make light of it. No. Three. Uh, is it, are we in threes or fours? I never remember. Three. Threes. One, two, three. Running around her. No. Well, you didn't want to hear my D-flat. <laughs> okay. Let's give this another shot. Is there anything, Jordan, that we need to know about that's coming from your end that, like... Going from Jordan's end. Sounds... That's coming from your end. Dad jokes. Jordan? I'm keeping them going okay. tonight, the dad jokes. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I think we should do one more. What the hell? Enough time left 
If you want to take your place Find the present every day If you want to answer yes She'll follow you right into bed Well, there is more than one of you But only one of them is true That was a test. Um, that was that was nice. They've all been pretty nice takes. I think. Um, I think that was the best one so far. Do you? You think it's getting better? I think it was the best one from the, from the strings. Uh, yeah. Um, if if it's worth it, we could try another one. But uh, if you think it's getting yeah, better, yeah, why not? Do one more. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Anybody got any um, existential concerns, or are we just, just the usual ones? <laughs> just the normal garden variety existential concerns. Why? How? What's for dinner? Okay. Everyone's beers all right. How you going, Sandy? Good. Was it cold? Mm -hmm. Nice and cold, good. Okay. You've got to head off pretty soon, right? Yes. Yeah, Sandy's got a gig on tonight. I do. And yeah. Tuning fork? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tuning fork, yeah. For anyone who is in the country. Yeah. Actually, now's a good time for plugs if anybody wants to plug what a record coming out or something. Holly's got a record coming out quite soon. Have you got a title yet, Holly? Uh, no. Oh, okay, that's all right. I'm sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> but it'll be tomorrow. good. Tiny Ruins <laughs> album. Yeah. You got a gig tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's the gig? Um, at the King's Arms. Oh, at the King's Arms. Holly, yeah, Tiny Ruins playing at the King's Arms is a big. That's that's going to be a really good gig. We've got a great is it? Agency that you guys should all know about. You've got a modelling agency. <laughs> What's it called, Jimmy? It's not middle aged men, Victoria. I'm at sorry. Men's mid sized modelling Instagram. Oh. But there's a subgroup called, um, you know, um, mid life mid size <laughs> men's modelling. That's right. Where, where's, yeah. the, where's the graphics? Midriff. Yeah. <laughs> We've got just some great regular bodies. Check it out. <laughs> Mature men's size. Now's the time, everybody. Plugs uh, in for I've anything got, you I've want. I've got an EP coming out soon. Yeah. It's, it's my first solo EP, Sandy Mill. Yeah, it's cool. It's going to be called, uh, it's, what is it called? Uh, a Piece of Me. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, it's a representative of mid size. Here he is. He's the top mid size model. He's one of the, one of the top <laughs> models. Oh god, I, I, it, is it a, it's a runoff. Nice is it, body. Is, is it mid size? Oh my nice, god. It's a nice regular body. Yeah. Check it out, there's lots of stuff like that. <laughs> Man, I, I, I had no idea you guys had that, had that surprise in store. <laughs> That's really lifted this evening to another level. <laughs> Sandy, what was your EP called again? Yeah. It? Oh, it's, it's going to be called Piece, of, Piece of Me. Of me. Yeah. Yeah. Piece of Me. It's yeah, awesome. Nice. Not a piece I've of, heard Piece of, of Elroy. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, it was not, rather unfortunate that Elroy came and stole the, <laughs> yeah. a piece of him. Yeah. It's a piece of him now. It's not a piece of you anymore. There's plenty of time yeah. there. I thought he was a bit cowardly, only coming in with the shirt off, personally. I think. Piece of meat, yeah. But I cancelled it. I heard about you and I thought, piece of meat. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs>
Who is that talking like that? That's not. That's not Jimmy. That's Elroy. Nice. Yeah. He's got his shirt on now. Talk back. Did that come? Yeah, that come through to the folk at home as well. Oh. Oh, what a shame. Oh, that's disappointing. We need to get out of silly mode so we can do a really good take. I think this is going to add to the take. Anyway. Okay. Actually, talk back. Yeah. This is a surprisingly realistic recording session, isn't it, really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Minutes before yeah, we're about to enter a, a poignant, <laughs> yeah. um, life-affirming Everyone moment, we are... Uh, Someone comes in with a shirt off. Well, comes with a shirt off and mid-size modelling. <laughs> Ain't that life. Ain't that modern life. All right, I think we should give this one more shot and then we'll move on. Yeah. <clears throat> Make it level Don't misunderstand Make it level On the other hand Every age is a different color Deeper for the memory of the sun If you want to take your place Find the present every day If you want to answer yes We won't have to double guess Well there is more than one of you But only one of them is true Level when you take a breath, make it level. There is enough time left if you want to take your place, find the present every day. To answer yes, she follow you right into bed. Well, there is more than one of you, but only one of them is true. Running around, knowing that there is more than But only one of them is true Only one of them is true But only one of them is I think we're covered. I think we've got some. It's in the can. We've got it in the can. Women and men, thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Well, Sandy, you're entitled. You've done Have a good gig. The business end of the evening is complete. Well done. Thank you. Have a great gig. Thank you. Yeah. I, I intend to. Yeah. Is this your gift? Your yeah. Gift? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah. I'm supporting another band, but um. Who cares about them? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of them for me. Those fans. It's a great one. Do I miss Cindy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I think maybe uh, that was really fun and pretty intense. Well, we should take a couple of strike calls now rather than take a little moment, have a drink.
Oh, yeah, the connection wasn't there. But are they, but, oh no, that's cool. But uh, is there any sound at all going out? No. Uh, oh, no. cool, but pictures. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So, well, can anybody do signing? <laughs> can somebody do some signing? Say what we like. It's a good time for men's mid-sized movement. Hey, did yeah. you ask yeah. permission and to stand struck. up, Sam? And struck. I'm sorry, the, the, just the spirit took me. I thought there was no talking. We did a dance. <laughs> you didn't ask permission to dance. Yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I think maybe just that was really fun and good intense stuff making a record but maybe we should take a Skype call pass around the chocolate Don this is the way we do things in New Zealand we have like at this point you bring out a bar of what's that one well, what almond gold, gold. You, you pass around a bar of almond gold one piece each everyone yeah, yeah there's not a lot there's not a lot there Oh, go easy, Sam. Jeez, that's too... Oh, oh man. I'm just going to say Yeah, no, fair enough. No, you were dancing. Oh, we've got somebody on Skype. Oh, actually, I, I, actually, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'll put my headphones on. One sec. Um, hello, person on Skype. What's your name? My name's Dan. I'm in Glasgow in Scotland. Oh, Dan. What a damn... Um, EJ's, um, EJ's down here, EJ Barnes. Can we have a little shot of EJ? Glasgow is the, is the home turf, really. That's where the family's, that's where the family's from. It's nice to see you. What's going on in Glasgow today, Dan? Are you working? I am on daddy daycare today. So oh, my wife's away and I'm watching the kids. Oh, good on you, man. That's great. That's a, that's a nice thing to think of. How many kids have you yeah. got? I've got three boys. Three boys. How old? Uh, we've got Josh is 12, Ollie is nine, and Sammy is three. Oh, man, that's a handful, man. you got like you got your work cut out for you today. How are I know, you it's, but it's, it's silent. How are you going to entertain them? Uh, <laughs> well, I've been entertaining for the last week, so I'm kind of, I'm almost worn out. So uh, I don't got know. anything Depends left? Depends on the Depends on the weather here, you know. You know what it's like in Glasgow. So well, that's not the, looking very promising, is it? Uh, no, but, no. But are they up yet, or are they still asleep? No, the si hence the silence, and hence the fact I'm able to do this Skype call. They are still sleeping, but oh. it could be interrupted post Skype call. Well, that would be kind of nice if you want it. If they do wake up, that would be cool. Sure, they'd be welcome at our at our webcast. We're kid friendly. Keep keep the noise up, and you might wake them up. It's a good that thing. Uh, um, did you have a question for, for, for me or for any of the people here? Yeah, um, well, for you and I guess everybody, I really wanted to understand the, the songwriting process uh, in the sense that when you write, is there a pattern in terms of, is it melody or rhythm that comes first or is it the words and how do you sort of put it together? Um, okay, that's a good question. I'll just have to gather my thoughts about that. Um, it's a real mystery to me still, even after 40 years of writing songs. And there's lots of song, really good songwriters in the room, so they might, um, everybody have, might, might have their own little uh, pieces of wisdom to impart. But uh, we, we've been talking in the last couple of days as we've been rehearsing and just thinking about the different things that go up to make a good song. And, and the, for starters, the art of it is making it feel like it was effortless, but the actual process of it is sometimes painstakingly, um, you know, it's like it's like pulling teeth sometimes. You know, you're changing the thus and us and ands and buts and to get the perfect flow of things that sound 
melodic and musical and end up meaning something and opening doorways for people and a lot of the things that I get and I rely on are completely subconscious and the more I get like that the better but sometimes the more mysterious that becomes because you, you try and figure out what the thread is you know that there's something inherently good about something just arrived um, in your subconscious so you kind of fight for that to survive and then you try and make it fashion it with your intellect and sometimes when it starts to make more sense you go on the page you go oh thank god i know what the song's about now and it but it has lost some of its magic so yeah i, I don't know there's no easy answer to it there's no manual that i've ever read jimmy webb apparently read a book uh, wrote a book that explained songwriting and as in, in so much detail that he even said you have to rhyme in the second verse exactly the same way you rhymed in the first verse but i think that's bullshit so yeah, no, I don't know if I've got a definitive answer. Is any, come on, other songwriters, anyone else? Some wisdom to impart. Small pearls of wisdom. Anyone? I'm going to throw it open to the floor. Come on, Don. Now Don. Now Don. Don, Don McGlashan here, who's an incredibly good songwriter and a wonderful wordsmith. I once um, asked him about this exact question, and he said. I think I was at his house and he, he was looking, I was looking at his garden and, and I was saying, admiring the little pieces of things he'd done in his garden. I said, man, you've done some great things in that garden. And I don't know if you remember your response, Don. You said, each one of those things is a monument to writer's block. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 And then somebody else said, like a Kiwi, a Kiwi writer, a novelist once said that if you, anybody that says they have writer's block doesn't have a big enough, big enough mortgage. It's, it's not a good thing. Well, that's <laughs> an interesting sure thing because actually it is a, it's a much underestimated motivation, earning yeah. money yeah. and feeding your family. So get yeah. down to the business end of writing and finish the fucking thing, you know. That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. And it's like somebody <coughs> once told me that you, you just, uh, if, if you're, I met a house painter once who said, who said the secret to painting houses is just to dip the brush in the paint and then move it backwards and forwards <laughs> along the wall all day. Yeah. At the end of the day you've painted the house. And it's kind of like songwriting. If you just work away at it and you sort of quietly yeah. try to shape the shape the verse and you know think about what you've got and think about the way the way the character is developing, you know, who's singing the song. Don't lose heart. No, just quietly yeah. do it. Yeah, at the time and the I always think that the conjuring up in your own mind the time and the place that the song's happening is a really important part of it as well. So even if it doesn't come across literally in the song, you've got to imagine the the person that's singing it and where they are and then you've got a really good little window yeah i don't know if that answered your question man you've disappeared oh there you are okay i'm back is that, yeah, was no, that... that was really interesting yeah I, I didn't know whether it was um you know whether it was just something that kind of came out and it felt right or whether perhaps um, maybe contrives the wrong word but but you know it was sort of pre-planned in a way but it's interesting perspective yeah thanks Oh well, you know, it, I might I might have more to say if I thought about it tomorrow. But th you know, that was my immediate response. So thank you. It was a good question. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Just go for it. Finish that thing. <laughs> Bye. Look Bye. after those boys. Bye. Take care, Bye. man. Well, yeah. All the best. Thanks. Actually, what what was your name? Dan. 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 Dan that's right. So long, Dan. All See the best. You, man. Good Take luck. Care. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That was nice. Dan's a good guy. Three boys. Um, should we do a couple more songs? What What is the time? I, I'm just gonna figuring out whether Eight. we're eight thirty four. Eight thirty four. Oh, we can we can slowly wind our way towards a conclusion here. I think. Um, let's do um, Let's do Love Is Emotional first verse and chorus. Standing up. Can I stand up? You can stand up. Who's gonna Who said Who said that? The horny couch is standing up. Yeah. No, oh, please don't. Come on, boys and girls. A fade. Oh, look, we'll start again because I, I, I surprised you. This one has to start strong. You surprised right. yourself. All right. Okay. 
crowd is watching me don't you forget that love cannot be taken for granted you'll have to believe it that's all right but i never seem to work out how it ends and i think it's almost never making sense but it's hard to control but love is emotional inside the walls of monasteries men make their rounds and knowledge is their friend written down reminding us that love is a concept you'll have to defend that's all right but i never quite receive the sacrament and i think it's almost never making sense and it's out of control but love is emotion I almost broke my own rule and spoke too soon. <laughs> but it wasn't the record. Yeah. Um, so there's another, another half a song to come in. And God, it's really good. You, just, you can't believe how good it's going to get after that. That second half of that is just sensational. Um, all right. Yeah, is, uh, is the mid-sized male model available? Is he off on another job? He's just finishing up a shoot. <laughs> it's a finishing up a shoot. He's, He's also oh, an escort. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, here he is. Yeah. Can you recognise me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Barely without that body up. I think we should, um, we should probably uh, finish this show off pretty soon, if not now. No, no, no. I think we've got one before, and I think you just need to play some percussion now. Yeah. You just need to use that natural rhythm that you've got. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to... How many Skype calls did we take? Was it like six or something? Five. Should we take one more just, just yes. before we go? One more just before we go. Um, because that's worked really well. Can I sit, can I sit down? I've, I really enjoyed the Skype calls tonight. That's been really fun. You don't have one? Everyone's dropped off. Wow. Yeah. Has everyone stopped watching? Yeah, no. Can you do a, do a Skype call now? Do you mind? No, no. Got any, have we got any Skype calls? No. Nah. Nah? All right. It's okay. So we'll just sit here and just wait. Anyone okay. Just yeah. Jokes? <laughs> just wait not, for a not. Skype call. Could Nick Seymour call yeah. back, maybe? Nick, Nick Seymour. <laughs> do you want to call back? Can we get Nick again? The kids might be up. The kids might be up now. Can we, can we call Nick? He's probably watching on Skype while feeding the kids and going, oh, I can't call. <laughs> That'd be a grand thing if he's... Oh, my hey! God, there he is. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Oh, God, we need you. El Capitan. Hello. Hooray! There he is. Oh, my Hello, God, Nick. there he is. Bless your cotton hey! socks. There you are. Oh, Look at those beautiful faces. Hello. Hooray! There they are having breakfast. That's so nice. Look at your lovely faces. Oh. Frankie. Hi, Frankie. And we're. Hi, Lola. What have you got planned today? What's on? Ah, oh, God, you're beautiful, all of you. Look at you. Hi, Nicola. Hi there. There's a huge, weird delay thing going on. Hi there. I hope you have a wonderful day there on the west coast of Ireland. Are you going to get in the water? 
There's so much delay, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Someone's really with the delay. Out there, but anyway, have a great time. Hi, doing uh, really well. Take, take you have three. Have a wonderful day there on the west coast of Ireland. They're going to get in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, There's surf there. today. So much delay, it's unbelievable, isn't it? There is surf, and we're going to we're going to go for a surf. Oh, in about an hour. God bless you all. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, God, look at you. Oh, look at you. All right, well, we're going to we're gonna sing a last song now. I thought you said do a delay. Sorry. All right. All right. Love you all, you guys. We'll talk soon. See you. Have a grand, have a wonderful day. All right, this is a this is called Second Nature. We're going to sign off on this, and after that, there's a little another little special treat as you're all getting ready for work or getting ready to go out. She'll be the queen of the bees with the worker divine. She'll be the buzz that you heard in the back of your mind. Show me the birth of a legend that can't be controlled. Second nature. Making it out with the knowledge that ever go old. Don't believe it. Oh, he's on a Vespa. He wears a hairnet. He's a holy, holy Superman. See him leaning around the corner. He's a sensitive guy. In love. In love. Thank you to all the people who helped make this thing happen tonight. In the control room, we've got Jordan, we've got Patty, we've got Hugh. Downstairs, we've got Simon. For all the pictures, we've got Hugh and his team. We've got all these lovely people out here on the floor. We've got my, love, my darling Sharon sitting in the control room. All our friends and family. There's lots more Good Fridays to come. Thank you.
took part all our Skype callers. We're going to be lucky enough to have Pablo Vasquez sign us out as we sit here with our drinks and uh, reflect on the evening that's just been. We wish you luck on the day that's coming. We'll see you next Friday night. a soft dismount as we call it in the business <laughs> a soft dismount as Pablo Vesc Vasquez take us out with their cerebral, <laughs> cerebral. Um, <laughs> reflections cerebral, I'm, I'm so pour, pour yourself another drink everybody and settle back to some the si sounds of Pablo Vasquez <laughs> we'll see you same time same place next week so long